Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So, the way that we're going to do the Crystal Opening, I'm going to open up the crystals first, and then afterwards, you guys will see what I had to do in order to get two of these crystals to open up for you. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and start with the Grandmaster Crystals. We'll grab two of those. And we'll let it spin out just a little bit. Not too long. All right, that's enough. And let's see. Can we get a five-star out of this? Ooh, I wouldn't mind that Civil Warrior. Ooh, I would definitely not have minded that. It would have been a max signature uh, ability crystal. But I wouldn't have minded that uh, five-star Sim Supreme. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been. Sim Supreme is not maxed yet. I stopped maxing him, or I stopped putting Sig Stones into him when Doom came out. And I started saving all of my Mystic Sig Stones for when I could finally pull Doom since I need him for Prestige. But I got Silver Surfer instead, and I still don't have a 5-star Doom. So I just keep saving, all right? Let's see. Can we get a 5-star? Any 5-star? I would have taken that group. 4-star is not bad out of these crystals. Uh, I would not mind that at all. And in fact, had I gotten this four star, it would have saved me a little bit of pain. You'll see it after the crystal opening uh, of what I had to do in order to uh, get this. I could have uh, saved uh, a few openings. All right. Now, we're hunting for Aegon pretty much. So let me uh, pop it open real quick here. It's not, you know, there's not that many there. Uh, so, Aegon, Omega Red, or Namor. Okay. So, let's go ahead out. All right. And we'll go back in. We'll go out. Go back in. Shake it all about. And boom. So, I have an ulterior motive. I want to open up two six stars, and I'm very close. So... Chances are I'm not going to get an Aegon and an Omega Red or an Omega Red and a Namor. I'm not getting two new champions. I believe those are the only ones that would be new. Uh, so even if I get a dupe, not a problem. All right. Uh, speaking of dupes, there's the dupe counter. That's how many that I have currently opened up hunting for Aegon. Um, actually, a little bit more because I got a crossbones early on that reset the uh, dupe counter. But we're still hunting for him. We need him. We don't necessarily want him. All right, slowing down. What do we got? Come on, come around the corner. Come around the corner. Nobody's coming around the corner. But that's a dupe. And uh, we should be able to uh, get enough for two six stars. I believe... Uh, we, we might need one more dupe, uh, which is why I wanted to open up two of them. So, mixed feelings. I do want Aegon. I do want a new champion. At the same time, if we don't get one, I can uh, have a nice six-star opening. There's a level up going on right now, and uh, I would love to get two new six-stars. All right, so last one. Let's spin it out. And uh, the hunt for Aegon continues. Now, if you've uh, watched my other ones, you know that I really don't like Aegon. I'm not a fan of ramp-up champions. Uh, but of the ramp-up champions, he is the best. Um, he is the one that I like the most out of the ramp-up champions. Uh, but the reason that we're going for him so hard right now, you know, he doesn't have high prestige, is because of the Abyss. I need to get into the Abyss and start working on that content. Uh, so I need an Aegon to do that uh, relatively cheaply. I'm still going to use units, but I'll use far less units if I have Aegon. All right, slowing down. What's the last one? What's the last one? And it's an X-23. So... We got dupes like I was expecting. And uh, the next video that I'm going to make in a little bit here will be two six stars. So um, 
like I said, the second part of this video, that's the big boy items right there. Uh, I'm going to show you what I had to do in order to get the uh, five star shards uh, to be able to open up two of these so that I can now open up two six stars during the level up, hoping for a new champion, uh, even one of them. All right. So that's going to do it for the main part. And I will see you in a moment. All right. Part two of the video. This actually took place before the crystal opening. So while I was doing the live stream, uh, I noticed that I was very close to getting my second six star and I wanted to have an opening with two six stars and I was prepared to wait. So while on stream, Big Blue made a suggestion and it was a good one. There's a side event going on right now and one of the prizes in there is 1,000 six star shards. Uh, so I went ahead and did that one. Then in the um, store, they uh, for incursions, they have updated it and you can now purchase six star shards, 2,000 of them for incursion shards. So I went ahead and did that. So that was 3,000. And I was really close. And what you saw there was how close I was. And I'm thinking, all right, how can I get more six star shards? There's some content that I could complete and get six star shards, but it was going to take a while. And I wasn't really ready to do that right now. But I wanted to have enough to open these guys up while the level up event was going on. So I'm racking my brain and I'm like, you know what? I almost have enough for two five-star dual class crystals. And if both of them are dupes, I should have pretty much enough, but it would be close. So what I did was what you see in the video here. I went through every source I could think of for five star shards so that I would have enough for two dual class crystals. So I opened up uh, some of those objective crystals. I opened up max signature ability crystals and keep in mind that I have every four star that you can get other than two trophy champions, red Deadpool and uh, Thanos. So any four stars that I open are going to give me five star shards and most likely a max signature ability crystal. And that most likely will give you five star shards. But uh, as you'll see, we didn't get that. I was kind of sunk when I saw it because you do have a chance to get signature stones, but the majority of the time it's five star shards. And that's what I wanted now. And I ended up not getting at least one of them. All right, so you see here, I have fo uh, two four star shards uh, four star crystals and remember it's going to be dupes so I basically opened up everything objective crystals four stars and I was close so what I ended up doing uh, and uh, you'll see it towards the end here is I opened up a bunch of premium hero crystals now in the first part I mentioned that I could have saved myself some of that pain because one of the Grand Master crystals, as you saw, was a four star. But I had gotten down to the end and I just needed one four star and I would be able to open the two. And I have over two million uh, shards for premium heroes uh, crystals. And how I got that is that I do all the solo events. I grind that arena. I'm always getting the advancements and everything. And, and that stuff adds up. And it pays off here where I just needed, you know, a couple of four stars to dupe them. And I would have enough for two five star crystals. Uh, so that's pretty much what I did in order to get that. Now, in the next video that you're going to see after this one, and I'll probably uh, publish it maybe like a couple of hours later, uh, you'll see the fruits of my labor. 
All right, so part one, you got to see, I got the two dupes, which was perfect. Next video, I'm gonna open up the two six stars and you don't wanna miss it. It's a nice one. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.